BTC is about to hit 100K. Holy shit, we've been waiting 15 years for this, and it's happening live on Ricker and Bond tonight. We also talk about Kendrick Lamar, new album, and why Google is about to be ripped apart by the government. Enjoy. Ooh, scary. It's it's a little bit, because it has an app at the bottom of the desktop, you know? Ah, oh, right. So because it's a native app, it's uh, right. it's cool. Does Google Docs not have that? Um, They might. They probably do. Why does my computer, my camera look like ass? Because Google Docs doesn't give you like a dashboard of stuff like Notion can. It doesn't? Not really. Cold open, Rick and Bond. It's not Friday because we're recording a day later because we had insider information that Kendrick Lamar, oh, fuck. PJ, PG Lang, under mm. Interscope writes. And I, I did kind of look up how that works as well, but it didn't give me too much. Um, uh, we had insider information. We decided, hey, let's just throw off any kind of... Uh, disciplined habit that people have ingrained themselves to listen to Rick and Bond on their Friday drive to their McDonald's shift. Mm -hmm. Let's record Friday to completely just really digest. You know, digest, digest. <laughs> the new Kendrick project G and X. Which is a car, apparently. It is interesting. I listened to it once. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about it. Great listen. Enjoyed myself. I was like, damn. This is making me think. I'm hearing sounds I've never heard before. Cool production. Um, cool production. I like Kendrick a lot of sounds. Bass sounds. A lot of bass. A lot of fucking West Coast sauce. Movement. Right. A lot of different flows from Kendrick. Sure. Dude. Yeah, a lot of calling some people out. Glad he didn't mention me. Thank God he didn't <laughs> mention me. Oh fuck, I was scared as fuck. Um, <laughs> I turned it on. And I expected the first line to be, "Yo, fuck Ricker, fuck Bond." I know. I can't Holy think shit! Of a rhyme to come with Bond. He seemed so pissed at us. We ran into him at that party last <laughs> he week. Really us, <laughs> yeah, I was like, "What the fuck? We don't even know you, bro." What the hell? To a quarter, it was like we we said one thing about to pimp a butterfly that it was a little heady. Okay. Yeah, like, dude, like dude. bro, dude, Not didn't know he was like, four foot two. That's underground uh, West Coast jazz from from nineteen seventy three, Mister Lamar. Oh man, I I actually really enjoy that album. I was thinking, is this album from GNX? Is this Kendrick's best album? Then I was like, nah, to come a butterfly is pretty good in my opinion. But this is a good I I need to marinate on this more, but it was it was a good project. A solid little rap album. Solid. Little. Yeah. The other I, stuff, you know, it can get heady. Or there's like I a like, very large theme that goes throughout and there's like characters and stuff. And these are you know, raps. I like just he just dropped it. No bullshit. I mean, nope. he, did, he did have a whole generational beef to promote himself. Oh, that's true. But like, no ten-year rollout like <clears throat> the weekend. Um, yeah, our our first ten minutes of R and B has changed from the weekend to Kendrick. This better be really a really fucking good album, Abel. It's taking this <laughs> fucking long. Like, this better be the next fucking Confessions from Usher. The girl at the final track of Kendrick's track was actually his pen all along, dude. Is what? The last track where he's talking about a woman. He's actually uh -huh. talking about his pen, dude. Oh, damn! Yeah, my, I must have not been listening that hard. That's the last line of the <coughs> line of the song. It's quite clear. Interesting. My bitch is a pen. Um, you think he's schizophrenic? <laughs> 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 Bravo! <laughs> Bravo! <dude. laughs> Just a little bit, maybe. You know, a question that hasn't been prompted <laughs> enough in American culture. <laughs> no shame, but I mean, like, <laughs> I was an artist. I was an artist, bro. He did play a, a, a crack out man in uh, power or whatever. So, you know. Mm. Was he acting? <laughs> right, right, right. Was just pulling from. <laughs> was this. Dude, have you seen that podcast where it's it's two guys. You can pause for a break of saying a podcast is two guys, but uh, <laughs> it's called Talking Tua. 
and it's a parody of like really deep analysis of uh the hawk to a podcast no i haven't it's, that a, sounds it's interesting. a great comedy it's, it's a great comedic. <laughs> they paper. fucking just like analyze it <laughs> yes dude <sighs> it's good stuff dude. they have dude, a lot everybody asks why is she famous this is why because they keep fucking talking making <laughs> shit about good, her bro. when the memes meme, <clears throat> the memes are memeing you know I really enjoyed that uh, chill guy meme. I'm sure you've seen it with the I've dog. I've seen a few. Good. Yeah, I'm sure like, market cap is very, very big at this this bull run. I don't, oh, bro. <laughs> I had a chance to make a quick two grand. I I couldn't figure it out. I'm like, yo, what is this new wallet the technology these kids are using? What is this Solana? Oh, like, it took me too long. I got frustrated. Didn't get it. It Did fucking you actually not like Solana like that. No, I mean, like, I, I like I knew how to use it, like, fucking, I know how to, like, set up the wallet and shit, but I'm just like, bro, there's, like, so many apps that aren't working, like, what the fuck, and then I finally got one to work, but by then it was too late. The but whatever. Is, the run is running, I've seen former crypto co-workers, co-workers in the, in the group chat say, uh, flaunt their Ks, they, uh, you know, the bulls are running, dude. Yeah, it's very, I just feel like I'm missing out, you know? Like Keep your head down and... Get to what you do, dude. When Bitcoin's going crazy. It might be at 100k right now. Let's uh break the news live. Yeah. Let's check it. Bitcoin Wait, wow. price. Oh yeah. Oh no, it's at 98. Um. No, no tick hit it yet. No, it was at 99. I swear, like right before we got on. Um, maybe it already hit 100. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The ticks. ticks. Rick and yeah, Mark. damn. It's afraid to hit that fucking. It's afraid to go there. Okay. It's a scam anyway. So, <laughs> um, people, bro, people are like, <laughs> it's lovely to see like people on the, my favorite social media platform, LinkedIn, uh, being like, why is Bitcoin going to 100K? And then people giving use cases that are not even six months old. <laughs> it's, bro, just, it's like it's, so... it's a speculative asset to get rich. I saw a uh, tweet. Some guy was like, "And so, what do you please tell me? Like, a good use case of Bitcoin?" And someone replied, "Checks price. No one gives a fuck if you don't get it, dude." <laughs> that's that's what I've been waiting for for a little bit, dude. Like, yeah, infrastructure, cool way to go. You know, good job on the dev and whatnot. But it's it's to make your green greener. Come on, now. crazy, 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 crazy. Big old green candle, funny, good stuff. Also, a big old red candle at the top of that. I kind of I put a Instagram story out. Did I call the local top a little bit, dude? What was the country that like made their currency Bitcoin? I don't know about currency, but El Salvador over there. El Salvador, oh, their reserve or something. Mister Naib. There's also a couple other countries getting some reserve in there. Uh, Probably China's good for him, plan, dude. Way to go, China! You walked into. Freaking bricks, bricks, uh, trap, buddies. Way to go. China's buying all the Bitcoin. Way to go. They're sucking it up. Mr. Uh, Scotty Pippen met Satoshi in 96. 93, I think. Maybe 99. One of the uh, 1990 year he said he met Satoshi. He met Satoshi. The oh, Satoshi yeah. that no one knows who he is. The Satoshi made by whoever made it. Uh, next to a, a Michael Saylor sat on stage and said, yeah, me and Satoshi had a real good time in 99 satoshi didn't even know they were satoshi at 99 mr pippin he doesn't no i don't i what no <laughs> satoshi's dead he killed himself they in 2009 in a ritual to give themselves to one of the anunnakis um i think one of the fucking it was like a handful of developers working on it in the day definitely one of them is satoshi for sure. That's just China, dude. It's just freaking India, dude. Like, there's no, there's, like, that's come on. Like, because that's just common sense. You make something like Bitcoin, you're like, dude, I don't want my name attached to this shit. Let me just <laughs> fucking make a fucking. I don't want to get shot absolutely the, <laughs> the moment that my name hits the press. <laughs> yeah, like, come on out of here. <laughs> you're trying to make a new global currency? Yeah. Fuck. Of 12 of you? Yeah. You're, you're for sure going to get assassinated there, pal. Fuck out of here. The guy that made that fucking meme got doxxed. <clears throat> Probably because it turned into a crypto with a fucking $500 million okay. market cap. The new chill what? guy meme? Yeah, the chill guy. He 
they found out where he lived. Now, what does that character derive from? You know what He's... I absolutely hate as well with crypto, bro, is that it's still like a third of it people will say, and it's a bit true, but it's all narrative based. I don't want my assets to go up or down based on human narratives. I know that's like a fundamental companies kind of as a narrative, but like, come on. Yeah, it's like stocks though. Stop. Eh, eh, eh. Like it's all like fucking emotion. Eh, I think <laughs> some people make profits with selling stuff as well. Oh yeah, but like so <clears throat> I think I think the narrative here right now is that like since Trump is gonna be president, it's gonna be very Bitcoin friendly, crypto regulation, you know, wider adaptation, even though like pretty much every bank has adopted Bitcoin already. <laughs> That's <laughs> a couple it took a couple i don't know a whole uh winter cycle of uh bear market for that to happen and then oh it goes up <laughs> it was like the last bull was just yesterday like, <laughs> it was a hike it was a, a what 22 21 yeah yeah i don't even remember how high it went that time about 90 speaking of uh, it didn't go to 90 back then no nah, it was it went to like 45 50 the last top or the last Bottom. Well, the last bull when I was like heavily involved when I was a media personality around the in the crypto space. Right, right. As we all, yeah, we all worked in crypto media. And it's really oh, holy shit. <laughs> like, where's Bond? My oh, Bitcoin yeah, daddy. Green. Oof. It's golly, look at that chart, bro. <laughs> look at that chart. What chart? The Bitcoin Just chart. Bitcoin monthly, dude. Ugh. Bro. It's, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, yeah, the top. Was March twenty four? <laughs> oh yeah, twenty one twenty and twenty one. It went to fucking. Uh, that's when I started TikTok, and then it fucking crashed. Why don't I recall a huge bull run for from freaking September twenty three to uh, April? I don't either, but I remember it going up like last December ish. Very interesting. Yeah, and when was this bottom here? Oh, fuck. <clears throat> Just a yeah, that was a nasty drop. That was a nasty drop for all crypto. That's uh shows you how the uh, despair cycle goes when it goes from an absolute bottom and just a sneaky run up for about a year. Mm -hmm. A couple month drop, getting a little repositioning for BlackRock and all of them. A little El, El Salvador. President <laughs> posting screenshots of some mobile interface that has the entire country's Bitcoin uh, account balance in it. I don't know. That's probably the El Salvador interface. Let's say, okay, like, how low could it possibly go? Like, let's think of the worst case scenario. I'm thinking like a war or something. You think that would like push the price down or up? I think a war. Just It'll just be random, a random like. 70% drop. I, if, if a war happened, it would probably go down like 5%. Uh, I don't so know. a random 70% drop? Yeah. Just for, I mean, bad economic for a couple months, <laughs> plus people forget about it. Uh, uh, maybe go down back down to 50, and then it gets a little crazy. It goes back down to... 30. Crazy how 50 uh, is cheap now. That's, that's, what, that's what happens in, in bull runs, dude. Uh, <clears throat> CC chair, Mr. Gary Gensler, is stepping down uh, the day Mr. Trumpito gets into office. Oh, he stepped down? He will or step he down. He announced he will step down as chair of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, also known as the SEC, at noon on Inauguration Day. The agency announced on Thursday. Uh, according to your boys over at Axios, why it matters, Gensler had... An ex aggressive tenure marked by controversial rulemaking and a combative approach with the cryptocurrency industry. And what they're saying is the staff and commission are deeply mission. Okay. Um, yeah, he doesn't like crypto. He did not enjoy it very much. As he said, yeah. <laughs> his work to lower risk in the treasury markets, which is uh, very important. Uh, market efficiency in equity markets uh, seem pretty efficient. I don't know. And trading by corporate insiders. Um, his tenure also included some noteworthy legal losses, perhaps most notably on spot Bitcoin ETFs. Apparently, he didn't like it. The agency 
SEC had resisted launching exchange-traded products that represented actual Bitcoin held in custody. Um, ETFs were a thing that happened in our lifetime for Bitcoin and ETH and any other ones happen? I can't think of another catalyst <clears throat> that would like push it up higher than the one that just happened after the election besides the happenings that are going to happen every few years or so. But nobody really knows about those because they don't care. Yeah. Um, I mean, this from Jan 23 bottom, which was the top 17 uh, up until now, it was a run of almost 500%, 498.10% run up over 670 days. It'll probably, once it pulls back, get like a 200% run up again, and then maybe incremental, uh, s incrementally smaller uh, bull runs fractionally from that. So I should sell? Uh, yeah, sell everything. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's fake. It's Wi-Fi money. Buy everything. It is Wi-Fi money. But at the end of the day, cash is now Wi-Fi money. No oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, everybody kind of forgot that. All of these freaking, oh, cashless stadium, cashless stadium. When's the last time you paid $5 for a freaking burrito, tío? Never, ever, ever give your Bitcoin to a corporation. <laughs> That's all I got to say. I Imagine if the Intuit Dome took Bitcoin as payment. Oh, my <laughs> God. I'd be so pissed. Uh, <clears throat> because no, they don't know, dude. People don't know. They don't understand what it is. Probably crash back down to 70. And then, like, if it really, really crashy, 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 somewhere between 50. And if it gets really crashy, 34. That's but nuts. Nothing like call, calling prices at an all time high. <laughs> Let's go ahead and call prices. Yeah. Oh, since Bitcoin's cool again. Yeah, for um, real. Yeah, well, I did, uh, you know, my, I have a significant, significant uh, allocation to crypto, Bitcoin and Ethereum. You don't Dude, say fuck I, Ethereum, uh, bro. Get the shit I, out, get the fuck out of that shit. When I did my freaking, I put my little risk on in, in March, I think it was. Yeah, probably coinciding with the, the other top. Uh, I should have just held some joints for uh, a long term because everybody saw this one coming. Yeah. But, you know, if, if you could go back in time and tell yourself to do it, you still wouldn't do it. So, because uh, I sure wouldn't. It, <laughs> if I wanted to buy more, I would have bought more. I was talking about my little freaking art point stuff. Oh, you talking about some, some meme shit? Yeah. <clears throat> Yes, yeah, what they pulled the okie doke, dude. You have a little, you crash for, you crash for two years, and then. Oh, Did you see a lot of green? Scott. You see that video of fucking um, that twelve year old that made crypto and fucking rugged everyone. Oh, it was on Rick and Bob for sure. It was making its rounds. Oh, damn. You saw it. On, I, gotta, I gotta, I gotta follow. You saw it on the metaverse account, which used to be a crypto account. <laughs> And then pivots to whatever tech is hot at the time. It was also an AI account for a second. <laughs> it'll it'll be a it'll be back to supply chain. It'll be a supply chain account in about nine months. <laughs> Don't forget a drop shipping account. <laughs> an Amazon FBA account. Yeah, the, uh, the the good old decarbonization account. Oh, we're looking at ninety nine nine eight. Can we get a live a live tick? Are we there? Can we get can we get a live tick, dude? Nothing like. Yeah. Anyways. It won't do it. Right. Nothing like a pocket watching an <clears throat> asset that's been slowly creeping up for two years. Bitcoin's so lame anyway. No one wants that shit. Get that shit out of your wallet. Government money's where it's at. They thought it was going to be, people said, life changing besides the, the wealth part of it, the financial landscape. It can make transactions go a little faster. Mm, fuck a little all that. You shouldn't, be, day, you shouldn't be transacting Bitcoin anyway. Well, I'm talking about blockchain stuff. He, oh. Things go slow, dude. This is true. Is Web3 dead? <laughs> uh, bro, oh my God, dude. On LinkedIn, seeing 
Cat's hiring head of marketing for NFT divisions. Bro, Seeing, being a Web3 developer, $500,000 salary, fucking... It's your legal counsel in, dude. Ugh. <coughs> I haven't seen freaking NFT profile pictures in two years popping up. Oh, my goodness. I still see a lot of them on Twitter. On X. Nowadays? Yeah, especially replying to Elon Musk. Well, I keep my, I keep my Twitter nice and, nice and boring. But I've seen I've seen some stupid ass monkeys pop up, bro. Man, that was embarrassing. <laughs> I, th- I think I did a I think I did an okay job of uh, <laughs> distancing myself from NFTs during my during my reign. You, you, <laughs> you might as well put one out for a couple months. Hell no, fuck that. Sure, you could buy you can buy Sean Lee. There's a Sean Lee on OpenSea. No one said OpenSea for about four years. Yeah, one of the founders went to jail too for fucking. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, what did they product. do? Oh, it was like insider trading. Ah, good stuff. Yeah, or something. They like bought NFTs that they knew were going to be promoted on the homepage, and it went up, and they Bro, sold it. August twenty-two, uh, ex OpenSea manager. <laughs> so a kid that was hired to do some social media uh, was sentenced on uh, August 22, August twenty-two, twenty twenty-three. A former product, former product manager at OpenSea, the world's... I won't even say that part because it might not be anymore. Three months in prison. That's worth it. Do you get your stuff taken away? Nathaniel Chastain. I thought I got more. Convicted of fraud and money laundering in federal court in Manhattan in May of 2023 for what prosecutors called their first insider trading case involving digital assets. Dude, that's pretty cool. You do a, cut, you do a three-month bid and you get the first... Uh, the first insider trading involving digital assets on the books. Sick. Nice. That's pretty cool. Reach for the stars, kids. Come again? You too could be a social media manager. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Good stuff. Goodness gracious. Fuck AI. Crypto's cool again, bitches. Let's go. <laughs> it was, I was trying to find a, a piece I put up. It was, it was the classic... Uh, a car turning around in the freeway and one side's full and it, <laughs> and it, it, it was uh, VCs going from crypto to AI and you know just time to, to reuse that old content piece and do AI back to crypto if you're funding a crypto startup you're fucking stupid dude if people I could open my LinkedIn right now and find some funding of it yeah no people fund that shit uh, it is cool. The people that I do see are people that have been like building products since like 2017. So, you know, shout out to them. Uh, what products are you building though? Everything sucks. Um, Once you're but, fucking building a wallet, dude, like get the fuck out of here. A wallet? Yeah. A wallet? <clears throat> like, what el- like what else are you going to build? Like I honestly, like after fucking um, getting a PS5, I'm just like, bro, like this experience is just so just, it just works. Well, who the fuck would give a fuck if this game is on the blockchain? That's like, what I said for, for you too. I said, I saw someone said the same thing of like the same old freaking gamification and no, 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 no. I was like, and so YouTube will be like gamified. And they, they said, they said that YouTube already has uh, sh- showed that they, they put little mini games on their interface that first of all have not been on their interface since two to three months i haven't seen let me let me check real quick do you know what i'm talking about when they put little mini games on there yeah did they take them off already uh let's see oh no they're still there youtube playable is probably for kids that are scrolling rails and then those are definitely for ipad kids no you know more addicted than they are that's definitely, that's uh, definitely for six months year olds right <laughs> is there no fucking shame anymore in these developers uh, these product managers. I've, I've never clicked one of these. Uh, as I as I do this <coughs> podcast, let's do a live, a live. They're pretty awful games. I wonder if anyone can make a game for a YouTube playable. Bro, this is a a flash game. Holy moly! What is this, dude? Soap. Oh, you got to clean. Do I clean the guy? Uh, I did it. Nicely done. Now grab the shower. This is literally for an eight month year old. Hmm. Anyways. Um, get them started early interesting so i've seen some of these as an ad before made with unity by the way there you go um i've seen these as or at least this concept 
one I, I think it's the same one as um as ads you can as ads as you watch youtube videos and you like do a little finger games um crazy so while you're watching the joe rogan show you can right. play a game at the same time <laughs> what was i saying about them yeah so he's saying uh that youtube has many games they're gonna gamify and you know put nfts into youtube i said youtube will continue to be youtube and th this is an implied subtext but you effing idiot i thought for a time maybe you might be able to um right right right, right buy nft as a or a youtube video and just like right. own it and get revenue from it yeah. and i especially thought that when instagram put nfts on instagram but then they abandoned that yeah and so i was like okay i guess this is just a wash but i was like that's a no. good use for an nft yeah it's for for splitting up right <clears throat> and getting digital revenue hopefully somehow it can be dollars but yeah I, I yeah I youtube coin <laughs> <laughs> so I, I just this this thing called uh is you know it's it's blockchain but it's pegged with dollars so you get paid in dollars oh fuck getting hired by a company saying do you want to be paid completely in crypto yeah yeah i, I got <clears throat> asked for well i got asked to promote crypto.com and they want to pay me in crow and i was like no <laughs> i'll take t i'll take 10 percent dog that was like literally the day before like it got cut 90 percent. <laughs> but um yeah i was like you know you got money though and like, nah <laughs> and we were like okay i was like okay goodbye I mean, you could like, trade that right away though yeah but i was like bro like this fucking shit like i just heard i just heard of crypto.com at that point like 15 minutes ago <laughs> even though they just renamed it the crypto.com arena and i've been like yeah. yo i've been in crypto for like five years at this point i just heard of you guys so yeah, why would yeah. i take your fucking coin <laughs> you know who really? the fuck you are you could be in china for all i fucking know you probably are uh they did uh oh, <clears throat> um for a long time i was paid in crypto and i got a wallet full of a currency that was not dollars and sw swapped it as soon as they hit me, probably yeah. dollars in the exchange. I will. I would definitely take Bitcoin as payment. Yeah. Um, like I said, you know what I mean. A nice little conservative risk asset at like thirty percent is pretty dope, dude. Give me that. I need that shit. Um, Kendrick Lamar mentioned Bitcoin in the first song on the album. Uh, did he make that last night? What's up? <laughs> He uh, there was a, there was a Jack Dorsey line. He said, "Put a square on your back like Jack Dorsey." Yeah, I'm like what the fuck, dude? Does Jack Dorsey is not that cool, bro. Does that mean Whatever. Dorsey has a a target on his back? He might, dude. What's up with that guy? He did get super uh, hot ladies. A little blackballed from a lot of places. Jay Z's Fucking... Jay Z's company. Oh wait, I just fucking oh, you just connected the dots, dude. Target on my, you say square up, target on my back like I'm George, Jack Dorsey. Jack Dorsey and Jay Z own fucking title. Jay Z, homie with Diddy. Fucking hello. Right, right. Target on the back. Kendrick Bowes, dude. Jack Dorsey's like, what the fuck? He's like, yo. <laughs> yo, <laughs> let me take a God. step back. <laughs> yo, Dot, I'm sorry I didn't congratulate you on the Super Bowl, bro. You said nobody could congratulate me. Dude, fucking, he called out Snoop Dogg. Even Snoop Dogg was like, "Yo, dude, I'm just kidding, bro. It was the edibles." Dude, dude, that's not that. Per, per X. Um, per what, X, else? Dude. what else was I gonna say? I really, um, I enjoyed the uh, song where I, he said, "I deserve everything." Mm -hmm. uh, that's so, how I think all the time. I feel like he. That was the only song where he mentioned Drake in any capacity. Did he? Kinda. He was like, he was like, you tell me why you deserve to be called the greatest of all time. That's cool. I type in Kendrick in my Google Safari Google search bar, and it's an ESPN article uh, titled Compton to the Bay. Kendrick's new album could be good for the Warriors. Good news. Okay, let's just good make news. it about us. Let's just, good okay, news. let's just take something LA does. Warriors back and just on make, top, dude. <laughs> just make it about us. Look at me. I'm the fucking Bay. <laughs> Oh, let's, uh, let's get a summary and see what uh miss brianna williams who is a basketball player or i'm wrong um anyways 
Brianna Williams, I, ESPN. I don't want to hear a basketball players at like journalism deal. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't. She, I don't think is a basketball player. Um, How long until every blog is just AI? This is why I'm still a proponent and why I still think that humans will be a large proponent or a large part of writing things. Because without writing things, then you're just in even more of an echo chamber of AI training on itself. Yeah, I'm trying really hard to get this fucking automated newsletter to not sound like AI, and it's really hard. Um, can you train That's it? Some stuff? Uh, yeah, I got, <clears throat> I'm learning how to do that. I got this, I I told you, I made this fucking website. It just scrapes Bitcoin news and then uses AI to make a newsletter every day. And it has 10 sources and a bunch of fucking... Don't do a newsletter. Do just executive summary <clears throat> bullet points. Executive summary bullet points. Yep, yep, yep. Just make it bullet points. About Bitcoin? Yeah. People, I mean, you could... Honestly, I would... That's kind of what I've done when I write stuff. Mm -hmm. I write stuff, and just at the beginning, I put bullet points of, like, usually, like, economic and financial stuff, and then I just write, like, a freaking <laughs> gonzo head after that because it's fun to write about. But, bullet points in the front, you say? Yeah, at the very top. And okay, because the there are bullet points, but they're not yeah. in the front. Executive summary, people now go on Safari articles, and they're clicking Apple AI summary. They're going to chat GPT, doing summary. I know it's, it, it, I would even make it smaller than like what you would initially have for a summary from chat GPT. Super top three points, most important stuff, how to, you know, the top two most important things that you take away from this article. I see. Yeah, yeah. I see. Let's see what I got here. Here's this one. Would. This is different than what you're doing, but I would I would do human writing under that. Human writing. This is uh, completely holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> you, I, do do you have money for this, bro? <laughs> That's revolutionary, dude. I'm telling you. you this this AI are, costs me twenty cents a month. <laughs> humans are back on top, bro. Um, oh my guys, goodness! Like I, like I said, it's completely different than the purpose of what you're doing. Uh, money bags over here. <laughs> sell something, but tell you, dude. <laughs> Humans are dope, dude. Give it a, much, uh, a try, bro. No, fuck humans. I fucking hate them, bro. I fucking... Too many emotions, dude. They fucking unproductive. They gotta go to the bathroom. They fucking fall in love. They gotta fuck. They need attention. Yada, 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 yada. My needs. Uh, shut the fuck up, everybody. Fuck. Three minutes before the ten minute break, right? But <clears throat> let me prompt this now. Um, especially... You know, whatever. But uh, what is sacred in America? What is sacred in America? Yeah. Baseball? I don't know. <laughs> no, just like, like, like actual, like, on a whole, what do you think individually uh, and as a population is sacred in America? Um, the ability to choose your leader. Choose your leader. Okay. I don't think we really choose our leader. <laughs> like, fuck, I, I, you know what I mean? Like, it's not uh, like the, the uh, it's not like an obvious rigged election, like some countries. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> the 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 somewhat uh, in in influence of how your leaders are chosen. Yeah, yeah, you know, like we could just have a fucking king forever, you know. Right. And even on the local level, like the, the the fact that you can choose local leaders is dope. People fucking under don't take that or people take that for granted, I feel like. Right. I like a local a lot more. Um okay, so an influence of leadership of a of a governing society. Anything else? Um, I think people hold sacred whether they realize it or not, the ability or that they can worship or not worship however they want. Okay, okay, okay. You, you get a little pushback sometimes. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. But even that in itself, like, oh, I don't like religion. Even that in itself, I think, is a religion. Yeah. yeah. So uh, ideologies. Okay, ideologies. Yeah. Governing 
influence. Um, and then maybe like I don't know the ability to be able to educate yourself if you want. Basically, in terms of if, classes, and yeah, in terms of like somewhat. Oh, if you want to fucking if you're interested in electricity, you can go be an electrician. Like no one gives a fuck. Right. I meant like wealth classes. You can. There's also a, a hope that you can permissible permeate. Oh yeah, you can like through doing climb that. the ladder. You know. Right. Like fucking, what is it? Like eighty nine percent of millionaires are self made, or something like that. Right. I, I made them all. You you met them all. I made them. Or all. You made. Oh, yeah. nice. Congrats. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, mommy. Hey, I don't like yeah. to do my little boy. Right. Hey, that's a good for you. <laughs> uh, let's take a, a ten minute break that is completely not seeable to any listener. How about that, huh? Let's do it. So what else going on? How's life? <laughs> good, bro. The, How's the wife? How's the kids? Divorced and dead. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, Spiritual. Way to put a cloud over the episode. The Warriors, <laughs> four NBA championships perfectly align with Kendrick Lamar's past four releases to Pimp a Butterfly, The D Word, Black Panther, the album. Can we count that? ESPN writer, do you count Black Panther, the album, as a Kendrick Lamar album? Do you? I don't. I, I, I don't. It is on his photography on Apple Music and Mr. Morale. Uh, so do we count? No. My dear, it's probably is the weekend's best album possible. I was gonna say Toy the Toy Story soundtrack is a, is a fucking um, what's that guy's name? I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. Rick and Bon Part Two. Warriors are in the lead of New Orleans on this day of our Lord, Friday, November 22nd. Uh, Clippers, I think, are sucking, dude. But their uh, logo looks cool, and that's all that really matters, huh? Yeah, and they got a cool stadium, you know? So, like, you guys can go fuck, kick, <laughs> fucking kick rocks. Your bum-ass stadium. <laughs> it's actually brand new. It's the fucking boat Business boys all Memphis. day, all night. You know, I'm tired of talking about the Warriors, okay? We just had the greatest rap album in the last 10 years come out of LA. And we're talking about the fucking, about the fucking Warriors? Are you kidding me? This is an LA discussion. Okay? Fucking amazing album. Fucking World Series. Fucking beef that fucking LA won unanimously. Like, it's, it's an LA year. Let's go. He did have a track called Dodger Blue. He did yeah, he had a track called Dodger Blue. Kind of slow for my taste, but you know, it was fine. Dude, Dodger Blue, I had it in Shuffle accidentally. I had, so it came Dodger Blue after the first track. And I was like, well, oh, dear. that was quite the decision. <laughs> oh, my. That, I would kill myself if I <laughs> listened to the whole album and realized it was on Shuffle. I learned from my way. Uh, he had a lot of features, Mr. Kendrick uh, Lammer, uh, that were kind of just. Yeah, none of them credited. <laughs> that is true. They were. Named upon Genius.com's uh, transcriptions of his songs. And uh, I think they were just a, a bunch of freaking random L.A. cats from what it seemed like besides SZA. I'm so fucking tired of SZA, bro. She's not even from L.A., is she? She's probably from Idaho, dude. <laughs> she keeps fucking flip-flopping, bro. She, one day she's on Drake's dick, next day she's on Kendrick's. Can she, oh, it's because she's TDE, that's why. Yeah, you didn't know that? I, I keep forgetting. She's from St. Louis, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Come on. <laughs> Get the uh, fuck out of here, bro. I can't I'm not, I'm not the, uh, the biggest SZA guy ever. I think she makes good music, but she's so fucking annoying, dude. She's like, stop complaining, <laughs> bitch. Fuck. Whoa, uh, whoa pivot, pivot, pivot. Uh, oh, whoa, sorry. It's the angry Bon hour. <laughs> Call me back, fuck. Uh, yeah, you know, she did you dirty back in 09. Which was kind of weird Damn, because man. you were pretty young. And I don't know how old yeah, you Yeah, I was dating her before all the surgery. So, and yeah, no, okay, young. fine. I was 13, whatever. But I don't think she's old. She was 16. So, actually, she's 35. She's me. Okay, that's a little. Oh. Why would she have a bug on Hot Ones as I'm looking at the Hot Ones photo? No particular reason other than to get attention. No particular reason. That's a, a great way to answer that question. No particular. Yeah, I mean, it's still not a not a super high viewed 
hot ones episode, <laughs> but it's not exactly uh <laughs> the weekend hasn't gone on hot ones, eh? He doesn't want to like kill his aura anymore Come than on. he did after the He's idol. Killing the character. <laughs> Come on. Uh you gonna go to the you drop the f- you gonna go to these what? Apple stores and do a, a Apple Vision screening of the uh, immersive weekend thingy, Jigger? No, I want him to drop the fucking album. I'm tired <laughs> of the bullshit. It's, it's always great. <laughs> Did you listen to Tyler the Creator's album? Yes. Did you like it? I, I liked it. All right, all right, all right. I, I watched, thought it was uh, uh, good. Talk right over. That was good. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. That's all good. I I watched a lot of Camp Flogna on uh, really? on Twitch. I was there. Did you? Kind of, kind of not as popping as I expected. Okay, okay. Why not? Yeah, kind of. I don't know. The lineup was weak, in my opinion. What you got? Like the the last day was a, a really cool rap lineup that I would have enjoyed. But bro, the, apparently on the weekend was there. Ah, uh, just hanging out, hanging and banging. Nah, he went on stage with fucking um, oh. Playboy Cardi. Yeah, oh. I feel like Tyler the Creator. I, I feel like Playboy good. Playboy Playboy has a good. Uh, I watched uh, a little bit of Sexy Reds set, and boy, mm-hmm. with lookers was that crowd having a good time. Were they? Uh, just ratchet, bro. And also, I I love internet chats, dude. I remember Twitch is amazing. Internet chats are so great. It's just a bunch of internet homies hanging out in chat, just watching stuff. I watched a little bit of Sexy <clears throat> Red. I watched a lot of Earl. Sweatshirt, that is. I watched a couple seconds on YouTube of Tyler, the Creators. I knew, I know none of those songs. I couldn't really vibe. Uh, I wanted to. Oh, see- yeah. I what else did I watch? I watched uh they did an MF Doom tribute, which is really cool. They had an orchestra and played MF Doom stuff. Um there was another one I watched. I watched a little bit of the Marias. Do you know the Marias? Heard of them. I think the Latinas love them. Yeah. Right. Uh, the Marias. Yeah, they were just before Earl Sweatshirt, which was funny. It's kinda cool. A she I don't like look Earl Sweatshirt she either. Looked, she looked like a swamp monster. The, the main vocalist of the Marias. Uh, hmm. Her hair looked wet and she looked like she was from the grunge, but she had an amazing live voice. Uh, the Marias. Are they all named Maria? Touched her arm, bro. You trying to touch it? Front man of the Maria's arm? No way, Jose. What'd you yeah. say? Oh, I thought it was a bunch of girls. One girl. That's and some guys. Yeah. I, uh, apparently, Chat said that. <clears throat> One of her exes is in the band, and one of the songs could be one of, about the ex. Maybe. Who said that? It's just someone in, in the internet Twitch chat. Oh, well, they're a fucking liar. <laughs> <laughs> Formerly <laughs> okay. Justin T. <laughs> Say no, okay, after that. Uh, they can go fuck themselves. I like Earl a lot, dude. It's funny, bro. He always, yeah, I think he said it a little, a little bit like, he's like, oh, why y'all not freaking going crazy and stuff because it's like you, your songs are sleep the lullaby songs or something did he really say that yeah at the beginning he might have been having a joke having a laugh as the brits say um, oh, yeah i can't you got the line imagine him you? going crazy yeah it's just it's just a snooze fest looking at it first of all it's a fucking crossword, crossword puzzle bro can we talk about good marketing for uh, getting the anger marketing but my goodness, that is the most oh, just ugh. no thank you. Um <gasps> the fucking Coachella lineup just came out too. That looked even worse, bro. Yeah, also a snooze fest. So I got Tyler the Creator. I can't even read these, bro. <laughs> Earl Sweatshirt. Badu was there though. Ba- no. Whose Badu idea was it to do this? Erica Badu live any any chance you get. Like really? Because I yeah, I really feel like waiting three hours for her to show up on stage. <laughs> you, you go at the end. Um, the sexy red. Fuck with, that. Well, I mean, it's it's sexy. Andre three thousand probably did his flute, which is cool for like ten percent of the people in the audience. Um, schoolboy. Jose K. Trinata. Schoolboy Q has has very high energy songs for live music. 
and great bass always. Always has good bass. Um, yeah, I saw a little of him. Denzel Curry's probably lit. Mustard was probably cool for some people. Doesn't go by DJ Mustard anymore, does he? I don't think so. Just goes by Mustard. Um, Berta says a festival, dude. Like, come on. Come again? Bro just has a festival. How come how come Tyler can do the do a festival, but fucking <clears throat> Kanye can't? Because he said, I've heard him say that he's wanted to do a festival, but like I don't know why he hasn't. Do you know the origins of it? I do not. Of Fognaut? Yeah. Yeah, the first one was it called the Odd Future crazy. Festival. Yeah. And it was at LA Live. <clears throat> it was real small, as you can imagine. It was pretty much just a concert. Um, but then yeah, every year it just got a little bigger. Fall of twenty twelve. When did I go? Um twenty eighteen, twenty nineteen. It was Kanye. Kanye wasn't attributed. Huh. What year did I go? Twenty eighteen, twenty nineteen. Something like that. I think Erica, De, Erica Brock, Brock, dude, was also there. Brock Hampton was a thing back then. Bro, Brock Hampton killed it, bro. Oh. Close that shit down. Billie Eilish was there one year. I think, yeah, that was the year. So 2018. I did. I did not. I was. Was she? Did I even know her pop and stuff? I don't think she's so. like a little SoundCloud girl back then. Yeah, she's like, oh, everybody in LA hates me. Um. <laughs> 2018, it was Lauren Hill that was there, which is not Eric Body. Georgia Smith was there. She's a little sick. Georgia man. Smith. Yes, she was. <laughs> Back when she was skinny. She was there, dude. I mean, skinny's relative, but she was skinnier. I love her. But she wasn't that skinny either. On a, on a good dip. Remember Hobo Johnson? Is he dead yet, bro? Hobo Johnson. Do you not know who that kid is? Who that? Mm -mm. He freaking like slam poetries in his backyard in a in a in an overall. Push a T. Kids see. So kids see ghosts. I mean, that was that was actually a really good set. The Kanye cut, Cuddy set. Roger yeah. Abel. I I missed and probably didn't know. Now he's dead. I really wish. <laughs> We could look at the financials on this festival. Ice Spice was last year. For... Yeah, so I was thinking about that too. If I go to the Wikipedia, um, golf wing in reverse. Let me see if I can get something out of ChatGPT. So, for searching the web, uh, Camp Flognaw does not have exact financial figures. But the consistent growth, et cetera, et cetera. Um, ticket prices for the 2024 festival started at blank for two day passes. Fill in the blank. Um, 250? 444. Damn. Really? For regular passes? Two day passes. Okay, so like one day would be like 200, 250 maybe? That's. A little I know VIP was like 800. That's a little bit above par. But it's, well, how would you just go chill? I thought go chill was like 500 for the weekend. Uh, let's see. Oh, additionally, the festival's partnership is with... It's close to Coachella. Do you know it by name? Golden Voice. Golden Voice. So, um, indicating a substantial... How much... So if you're backed by Golden Voice, you probably got some stuff. Coachella prices, we're looking at a 2025 general admission starting at $599 for weekend one and $549 for weekend two. Is that both days? I wonder why the $50 difference. Both days? Oh. Well, let's, let's look. Maybe at because they sell less weekend two? It's also, it's it's two weeks apart. It's like one week and then another week. Yeah, it's two weekends. A bit late in my in my surmise. Yeah, you gotta go. You gotta go weekend one. 
why is why not weekend too? Because, mm, like, it's already happened. Like, <laughs> the fuck's going to happen a weekend too that already didn't happen a weekend one? Uh, the pictures are already That's up. when all the, the cool kids hit it. <laughs> uh, so we got Lady Gaga. These are the, the big fonted names. Lady Gaga. Green Day. Char Love it. Charlie XCX. Love it. Ugh. Missy Elliott. You actually like Lady Gaga? Yeah. Really? Not the biggest fan. Yeah, I, mean, I like her it, old stuff. Her first... Yeah. Honestly, she probably Albums has hits that like are in my brain memory. So like, because that was like that was pop back then, back in my day. That was crazy, dude. She was, goes off came out of nowhere. Um, Post Malone. Fuck! I fucked up my shoulder at the gym. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, I'm doing a uh, uh, a thing where it's a dude named Metzner, and it's high intensity weight training. And it's a lot of rest in between. Instead of doing hella sets, you just do like one to failure set. You have a trainer? No, it's just a guy that died and did steroids next to uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. But I'm trying that for a few months, see what happens. Because I could get lean in like a, a couple uh, like lean muscles and kind of defined, but I'm still. Still look like a skinny little bitch boy, you know? Yeah. And yeah, you're not trying definitely. to look like a skinny uh, bitch boy with a six pack, dude. No. Girls I'm thinking of going. Guy. Yeah, I'm thinking of fucking. How's, you have a six pack? Uh, how's your stomach? Are you fat? I'm a little fatter now. I could. I could. I'm, I'm, I'm noticing that on me too. <laughs> but, but, I'm, I, but, but I'm fucking. I'm trying. I'm basically bulking right now. Yeah, and I'm like, dude, I fucking, I run, I hit the gym. What the fuck is going on? You do abs. I'm thinking, I think it's the carbs. I do abs, yeah. What like, there's abs there, but it doesn't. I do fucking like a couple of things, like things to train, like top, bottom, and. I, I, I basically like am starting with this, of uh, like, efficiently now, um, and I probably. Sh he suggests four rest days in between, but I probably shouldn't do that because I'm not like a freaking professional weightlifter. Um, but doing literally like one set of like three to four different exercise at like to failure, like the highest you can do. And you, you're still sore the next day. Pretty cool. Yeah. Does he fuck up your shit? Yeah. Uh, I can't confirm or deny if it makes me a super jacked ripped guy yet but it certainly is making me less defined in my musculature currently and i've kind of not done it correctly yet because i didn't know the weights like my weights uh amount but we'll see but uh, it's making you less defined yeah just because i'm like basically you're... eating trying to eat actually more but uh and just more weights, but before are your arms and stuff getting bigger? I think arms a little bit. Like I said, I didn't know my like weights I the past cycle of the four workouts, so I know a little bit better now. Um arms a little bigger. It is two workouts of legs and then delts back and then arms and something else. Um so we'll see. Will report, hmm. but I could, yeah, I could, but that is to say, uh, doing like hella high weights with abs, um, even when I'm a little less defined in my musculature, like that made my abs poke through a little bit. Like 325 on the crunch machine. Damn. Yeah. Ozempic. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I I, I, I like carb overlord, overlord too. I, I love bread, dude. But I could always, if I, because my thing before was like basically work out every day um, or like two days off a week. And then I always did like push ups and stuff. And that always in crunches and that always defined my abs. Ladies loved it, dude. Ladies loved it. Yeah. And the fellas, huh? The fellas loved it, dude. They're like, not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> 
that's that's absolutely one of my favorite bits too. there's another there's a comedian podcast that i like that always throws that in there but just say it's, it's so innocuous about gay or like white or black you'd be like I, it's 2024 <laughs> i love it dude. It's so oh man it's so fun because you know in between each 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 joke is uh, some truth Anyways, it's true. It is twenty twenty four, dude. What's up with that? I don't fucking know, but it seems like they're always doing some antitrust shit. Just let them fucking just. So I actually, I wanted to um, <clears throat> teach you something out of the this here book. Oh goodness! It's it's the good book, you know, but uh, it's a it's a book called Any Happy Returns by one Mister. Uh something Oppenheimer and he has a C in the middle of his name and you got to put the C there because if you do his name forget his first name I'll actually find it he's uh, I think like a macro guy for Goldman Sachs I think he's also British you know I don't hold that against him <laughs> British uh, you know one of the British drops just still in the intro Hello, hello, hello. All this then from Stewie from Family Guy. His name is Peter C. Oppenheimer. I was going to say Philip C. Oppenheimer, but that's Philip Seymour. Philip Seymour, C. More of what you're not supposed to. J. Z. More of what you're not supposed to. Square on the back of your back, Jack Dorsey. Did D. Or did he not? He one of did. The I was worst there. Performances of a stock in uh, uh, a long time. Let's in on it too. Let's uh, before we look at this Google. Anyways, Your Honor, I have the butt cramps to prove it. Your Honor, um, please. I f forget if it's out of this. Philip, Peter, Peter, <laughs> Peter C. Oppenheimer book, but um, or another place. But they were saying the a lot of. The, People put uh, antitrust cases on these big companies. It takes freaking 10 to 15 years. And by the time someone settles, they already like made a new product and a new way of doing stuff that would try to break up via the antitrust. So it doesn't really matter. But uh, the Department of Justice is pushing for Google to divest Chrome browser following an antitrust case. You hear, you hear about this, Bonjan? Good. Do it. <laughs> uh, Do YouTube, too. <laughs> no! Yeah, yeah. I think it's time. I think it's time. is citing its role as a gateway to the internet that reinforces Google's search monopoly. Because, <laughs> you know, everybody, they're going on Google Chrome. I should actually see the market share of Google Chrome because that actually might be bigger than I think. But, I mean, everybody thinks it's not that big, eh? Is that what we're well, on? Google definitely has a monopoly on search. Um, eh. A monopoly on browsers? I don't know. Who is uh, Google's competitor when it comes to search? You really going on DuckDuckGo, bro? I use... Uh, or Bing? I use uh, 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 pre-search sometimes. Oh, my God. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I do. It's on my mobile. <laughs> yeah. The fuck is pre search, bro? You go on Google, dude. Yeah, You're probably on Google right, right now. <laughs> I'm on ChatGPT. <laughs> is basically it's it's competitor. Um, uh, I think I think what's too. I agree with you in that sense, but I think it's too soon to tell. We need like five years until we see if people actually use ChatGPT more than Google. There was a very good episode of the Compound and Friends of, on November twenty first, twenty twenty four. And uh, yeah, it could just end up that AI summaries become good enough over there on the Google platform for search that people don't even really take a big market share. But Google Chrome maintains a position of 66% of the market share of web browsers. Uh, we're talking hmm. about Apple Safari at 18% and Microsoft Edge at 5% for the old people who have a PC. And... Uh, Mozilla Firefox, so, 2%. Back to search. I'm pretty sure Google search is the dominant search on all, or the default search on all of those browsers. The competitors to Google search would be Bing, Yahoo, 
Baidu in the China market, Yandex in Russia, DuckDuckGo. Yahoo. Uh, desktop browser, browsers, 65% is what Chrome's lead is. And probably leading in mobile as well. Um, so we got a 66% market share of web browsing. Uh, the Department of Justice was like, you got a monopoly on search is what they're, I think, trying to get at. But they're saying uh, maybe search is harder to divest from. Um, or, yeah, maybe they're saying if you give up Chrome... We'll, we'll have less of a monopoly because like it'll be its own company. We'll press you a bit less. Um, well, hmm. search would still probably be under <clears throat> Alphabet. I'm not sure if it's under Google stock or not. Search ads. Um, it's tied to a search engine. Ads appear on Google search. Uh, Browser is kind of the gateway for that. Is what the Department of Justice is saying. Data collection. Um, they get you over there on search. Um, other DOJ remedies that they, I think, are proposing in lieu of divesting, preventing Google from entering exclusionary agreements with Apple and Samsung, prohibiting Google mm. from favoring its own search service within other products, ban acquisitions, mm. investments in partnerships aimed at suppressing competition, which is... Uh, quite the suggestion there, Department of Justice. Uh, Isn't that report. just capitalism? <laughs> Man, they, well, the, the whole the, the game of capitalism is to get that monopoly, but a good enough monopoly where you're not antitrust. Uh, yeah, um, there's this fucking book literally on this about how Google fucking avoids like being called a monopoly like they use like a certain kind of language sure. fuck oh, i was like are you even recording oh what, is it? what was it it was like oh huh life after google perhaps fuck i think it was in Go peter Thiel's book zero to one sure i would what say, did he say life after google i might have to reread that again but it's a good book <laughs> yeah fuck yeah, it escapes me. But yeah, I don't know. I think I think Google's become too powerful. Um I am not a big I'm not a big big government guy, but <clears throat> if you look at like historically, breakups have been pretty good for society. Like for example, breaking up Bell created a bunch of cell phone companies that now compete with each other. So like, you know, if fucking I, I don't know. I just don't think Chrome is the thing to go after. I, I feel like, like it, I feel like they couldn't go after search for some reason because, like, that's your top go to. Yeah, like that's that's like their core business. But um, fucking I don't know. Gmail, YouTube. There's lots of shit they can fucking pull out of there. The App Store with Apple, yeah. fucking, that could be its own thing. Um, yeah. But we'll see. It's probably not going to happen. Especially with fucking Trump in office. Not saying I'm Perhaps. anti any candidate. I'm just saying. He, I'm just he, saying. I'll look it up next time. But he, he did have a weird... I think counterintuitively he was for antitrust. Or anti-monopolies. Uh, whatever it's called. Yeah, sometimes I think whatever he, he just like... It's, it's whatever what Joe Biden says, he just says the opposite. Because he used to be pro TikTok ban, and now Joe is like, "We need to ban TikTok." And he's like, "Oh, I think TikTok's okay." <laughs> uh, yeah, it was. I think it was something counterintuitive where you would think that his position would be anti antitrust, but he might be pro antitrust, which maybe competition. But it's, something was counterintuitive, and whatever he freaking flip flop. Like, aren't Republicans like anti antitrust? Yeah, generally, because it's like government intervention. Yeah, but they're also pro competition. So. Yeah. Um. And maybe maybe they say 
you don't need government to intervene because the market will eventually like eat itself. Blah blah blah. Um, there, I think mm. this was kind of talked about in this book. Any happy returns by Peter C. Oppenheimer. Um, and it's kind of like a. I think he puts it as the postmodern cycle where the normal playbook for these big tech companies is different. But he was saying the basically playbook for stuff that will catch fire in terms of uh, returns after AI um, are interesting things. Aging population, significant decline in labor participation should incentivize companies to spend more on mechanization and the substitution of labor for technology. So, like robots and stuff, he's saying probably does good after AI. Um, mm -hmm. He also cited that. Yeah, it's dope. Uh, he cited someone saying that, by, and this was like a 2022, 23 book. And, he cited someone saying by 2030 that like 85% of the jobs would be newer and like not exist before that. Just uh, maybe a bit early for that. But um, he's saying there's a significant opportunities in the old economy of mature industries after AI. Um, New priorities that include increased defense spending, finding alternative sources of energy supplies, and decarbonization. He was big on the decarbonization of it all. Maybe that's kind of Goldman Sachs and a little bit old news in terms of it, but he was, he was real big on that, making GDP. Um, hmm. And stuff that is expensive and can't be fixed with just software. So, on infrastructure. High fixed cost industries will likely be a major beneficiary of AI as they boost efficiency and reduce costs. He also said uh, in a likely digital and if not virtual world, uh, nostalgia is a big market. Also, as the gap increases, market for uh, um, leisure is probably growing and growing. Europe their biggest company is leisure america biggest company is tech that probably makes the big inequity anyways fun stuff fun stuff have you ever seen iron man uh, which one <laughs> um uh, <laughs> iron man one bro come on I believe so yeah i don't know fucking know um i think that's the only one i've seen but you know how he talks to his robot jarvis they're like working together Mm -hmm. Fucking making the Iron Man suit. <clears throat> we're not close to that, but we're we're fucking getting there. I can feel it. The way I'm talking to my computer, like when I'm fucking coding shit, I'm just like, yo, motherfucker, why the fuck isn't this working? And it'll be like, oh, it's because of this. And I'll look at it and I'll be like, no, dude, you're fucking wrong. Look again. And I'll be like, oh, my bad. Yeah. Like, well, let me fix it this way. Like for the newsletter shit, it's supposed to be scheduled to send out every day. And I wake up and I check my inbox and it's not there. So I feel like I'm fucking texting my fucking co-founder. I'm like, yo, bro, why isn't this shit working? And he's like, oh, yeah. my bad, dude. Forgot to put this file in. Let me do that for you. And it just fucking does it, dude. It's still a little bit crazy. Done. Still a little bit done. But it, that's, that's also... Yeah, it's thing. fucking stupid. This is like the smartest... But it does shit so fucking fast, dude. It's, it's crazy. Like the smartest thing that's ever happened that's been happening for decades, but that's hit retail in a minute. It's fucking, I'm just like, dude, this will take me ages to implement. Really? All I gotta do is think of it. I'm just like, and it gets it wrong. I just, I'm just like, yo, it doesn't work. Try it again. It doesn't work. Try it again. And the best fucking part is with this shit, you gotta like download a bunch of like <clears throat> fucking things called dependencies, which are basically just bundles of code that do things for you. So like, for example, if you wanted to have a fucking location in your app or something, you don't want to code up all that shit yourself, but somebody's already done it, so you can just download it and put it in your thing. So if I'm like, yo, I want my app to do this, this, and this, like, I don't have to look for the dependencies. It's like, here, I found some for you. Let me just drop these in, and we'll see if they work. And it's fucking crazy. It saves so much time. Like GitHub? Yeah, like, fuck, it's like fucking open source shit. Like, what, let me think of an example. What was I like? 
I basically was just like, yo, I want my fuck, I want all the newsletters to be on a feed. Um, just do it for me. And it was like, okay, well, I'm going to take care of this part, but I need you to sign up for this database software and then give me this code that it gives you and plug it in here. And then that'll be the database. And I'm just like, oh, fuck yeah, dude, let's get it. Executive summary. No one wants to read anything. And these kids are freaking not actually about that life. Bullet points. Fuck these kids. Bullet points so you don't have to actually make it sound like a good human writing. Um, and even less than what GPT would do because it sounds bad. And then after that, be like, yeah, actionable things you can do today that will do stuff. Because that gives people a little dopamine. How do I fucking advertise this? Just thinking of fucking around with some Twitter ads. Ew. <laughs> uh, just. I actually think Reddit, those, Reddit, Reddit, I've Reddit, seen Reddit. those a lot for... Reddit, Reddit, Reddit. Yeah. Oh, dude, they hate that shit I've tried. Uh, yeah, they're like, stop advertising your shit. I'm just like, fuck, dude. No, no, no. Reddit ads. Oh, Reddit ads? Yeah. Oh, maybe. I don't know if they can do crypto-related ads on Reddit. But dude, X doesn't give a fuck. Dude. Like, because I know Facebook is like, like related. Any, anything related to crypto, they'll just fintech. say no. Doggy, it's fintech. Come on. We, we, this is the playbook <laughs> of years ago. Fintech. Um, yeah, we shall. I'll try it. Facebook, Hormozy, <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. Hormozy. What go a freak up, of nature. Go back on TikTok, dude. Hey, guys. Go back on what? TikTok. Oh, it's TikTok? <laughs> I think those days are over. Dude, personal brand's the best key. I know. I'm just so nervous, dude. Actually. No, I don't know, dude. I'm just like fucking... That takes me now. I just watch, I just watch influencers. And I'm just like, dude, I just don't want to be this, dude. Like, I just don't want to be this guy. It makes dude, me crazy. Potting, dude. Potting. The, the <clears throat> influencer... Okay. The not being genuine self thing. And like, I used to stand on this wall and like do a talking head about crypto but if i say dude a bunch and like talk how i talk just like how i write now kind of then fun but yeah i get yeah hit the cringe part but you know f it dude makes money or just or just stop yeah and also do it in a way that's not cringe yeah just pop it, i so. guess how, how do you do that i don't fucking know just how you pause it was it was cracking What's up, bitches? Yeah. Say my N words. Yeah. It's your boy. That probably resonates. It's Bitcoin Bond fifty thousand. <laughs> uh, Send me your Bitcoin to this address. I have a a screenshot of sexy red shaking her ass, uh, and oh, good. Caller John on Twitch uh, saying Bitcoin BTC three hundred K. Very funny. Jesus Christ. Dude. Yeah, Rick Thank and Bon. Yeah, sexy red invented Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, she was, she was, that's it, was lit. Rick and Bon, everybody, we're going to record an intro now. Enjoy it. Yeah.
<laughs> intro. Uh,